Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to The Infected. This is this beautiful house we're working on. Almost. We're getting there. We're getting there. It will be finished soon. And here is the NPC village we're building. Off the tip of the peninsula we're on. So I built the foundations and then we set the blueprints for the house and the town hall. Which, you know, it works pretty good. You know, I got the staircase right in between the two. And if we're really, really, really get nitpicky about walkways, we could just slap another row of foundations around the outside. But that's where we're sitting right now. We're going to work on that. And we're also going to work on taking the old turbine truck and maybe hitting up these two POIs. I'm thinking, you know, maybe one. And then maybe do dot, do do dot, do two. If you're thinking we'd, we do it that way. But I'd like to get these done. If we can finish these in the video then we're going to scrap this idea and we're going to run up and get Mike. That's how it's going to go. So if we can finish this within a relatively short time, we're going to go get Mike. If we can't, then we're going to go and loot. So what do we need to do? We need... 20 wood logs, 70 planks, 40 nails, 50 clay. And then 25 logs, 75 planks, 40 nails, 60 clay. Let's grab the clay. We need 50 and 60, 110. We need 110 clay. I burned up a lot of clay <laughs> making the roof. But we also are making a lot of clay with our extractor there. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to probably overburden us. Yep. Now, I'd asked the question earlier, why would you have clay soil and clay in the same thing? Clay soil weighs a heck of a lot less. You can carry a ton of clay soil and now it overweigh yourself. But you carry clay. And, well, you see what we're doing. <laughs> we're sluggish. Clay soil weighs a lot less than clay. And I have been out chopping trees, making those foundations. And I got the pants scared off me again with... Uh, Attack from the Vambies. It's that sound they give right before they attack. That. <laughs> that didn't sound anything like it, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's just a worldwide sound that just is a terrifying noise. And no matter what you're doing, you're like, oh. <laughs> All right, so clay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. Am I right? Was that 110? We'll find out if we're going to complete both the clay requirements on these. And we did. We beat the complay. We beat the complay. We complete the clay, not we beat the complay. Come on, John. English. We have 40 nails. 40 nails. So we have 8 nails. 10 nails per ingot. 8 ingots. What do we have in storage? 33. Well, we have these two. 33. Uh, let's just put it to 30. 
So that needs five ingots. We don't have five ingots, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. We have 50. There we go. Five. We don't have five ingots. Can we fire the stove up? With whatever we've got. We'll go drop these nails off. We just need three more ingots. Three more nails. We didn't even get two ore in that one. Ugh. Come on. No, oh, there we go. There's three ingots. Two ore and five. You know what? Time to time to die. Oh yeah, time to die. You're the second fox to get trapped all up in my house. And it's annoying the hell out of me. I need the skin. I need the meat. We are going to freaking eat. I made that up all by myself. <laughs> Where are you? Where the hell are you? Are you in my house? Are you under my house? Don't be running out of stamina now. You're in my house. Yeah. That's what you get, ding dong. You don't come into the house of the hunter and expect to be a pet. No, no, no. Bye bye. Toodaloo. Get out of here. Good riddance. Let's wash our hands in the snow real quick. It's so funny. Night of the Dead, love foxes. This game, hate foxes. <laughs> it's such a 180, isn't it? Such a 180. All right, well... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, cobalt's actually full. That's pretty incredible. What now? Overheating. Uh, you two seconds, two seconds, you'll be freezing. Here we go. Uh, how do you like these temperatures? Are you overheating now, sir? I didn't think so. At 15 freaking degrees. Shush it. All right, let's go put this meat on the old, the old rack. And then let's cook up the liver. We already made an antidote or an antivenom or an anti antihistamine. <laughs> I haven't used the right anti word yet. <laughs> What is this, like anti, anti-inflammatory? No. <laughs> <It's, what? laughs> I've used every anti-word there is. Oh my gosh, antibiotic. Oh my gosh, how many anti-words do I use? Antibiotic. We have made the antibiotic. Holy shish kebabs. I don't know where it is. There it is. Antibiotic. We made the antibiotic. <laughs> Antibodies, antibodies. <laughs> Woo wee. Oh. All right. We've made that. Grab the meat and put it up. Takes the meat off the fire. There we go. We go gulp. If we got the power. We should have the power right now. Top ourselves off. Let's go ahead and eat. Even more. Eat, eat, eat. Go ahead and just put some of this food in here just because. And we'll eat this. We'll eat 
this, this. All right. Woo. What were we working on? Oh yeah, we were cooking up ingots. We need some uh, nails. That's right. Let's make what we got. 40 nails. I think we only needed like 20 or 30. 30? 30? Yep. Yeah. No, 70 planks. 75 planks. That's a lot of planks. Time to grab the old wood trolley and run out of breath. All right. Now time to put it in this beautiful machine that has a stack ability to it. I love that. And cranks out twice as many planks as the uh, other one does. There we go. Let's go load up the old cart again. We're going to need a lot of planks. I have been attacked twice now since the river froze over. It's like they know the river freezes over. And they save their attacks for wintertime. I'm not lying. I swear they save their attacks. All right, let's go drop off some planks. All right, 24 out of 70. Woohoo! All right, just need 20 logs on that cabin. So we're going to focus on the logs now. Run over here. Grab what we can. All right. This should be the last of the logs. Well, we just need planks. This one should be done. <laughs> 20 wood, 70 plank. Oh, 30 nails. Oh, we need 10 more nails on this one. And then we need planks on the rest of it. Have I said how much I love the circular saw? All right, let's go top off the planks at least. Thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-seven planks is seventy-five. Let's go. We need what? Twenty more nails. Well, that should be two more ingots worth. Let's see what we got out of here. What? Thirsty. Acceptable. An acceptable need. <laughs> we have been running back and forth for so long now. 66 out of 75. Uh, 10 more nails here. A couple more planks here. And we should have the NPC building done. Then we should be able to run up and grab Mike. My question is, can we grab Mike on vehicle? Or do we have to go up on foot? Oh, that's my question. We're going to go up in vehicle. If we have to carry him back by hand, we'll do such thing. And then we'll just walk up and get the new tr the, the truck. All right. Windmills need 12 cobalt. We're sitting on a full shelf of cobalt. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Let's go put 12 into the, uh, into the windmills. Four, four, four. There we go. We have 15 lead ingots as well. You know, we're sitting pretty okay on lead, I think. No, we're not. 
Because we had so much lead, I never bothered getting lead. I know we need copper. Let's see how much copper we've got to give. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Up the rock. Not We're not diving off the rock. Come on. We don't need copper at all. We need iron, aluminum, and lead. Okay. Guess we'll have to go back to the the cave and smack some rocks around. Smack my rocks up. I'll throw steel alloy on there. Go ahead and use some of this plant fiber to fill you up. What are you doing? Some of that. There you go. All right. We got 20 nails now. Was that enough? In this super frigid cold. There we go. Yeehaw. It's not warm in here, though. Repair stuff. Take care of plant beds. Replenish, replenish log stands. That's actually a perfect, perfect setup. I don't, I don't need them to do anything more than that. And we need just a few more planks, nine more planks. It's so cold out here, but my dude was overheating just a second ago in the house. He's like, ah, overheating. Well, how's you? Are you overheating now, sir? <laughs> I highly doubt it. All right, let's. Do we get much power at all? Power out zero power capacity, power stored. I'm going to turn this on just to power the sink <laughs> to get some water. All right. Now it's going to drain completely, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Oh, three panels doing 20 a panel. One turbine is doing 17.3 a turbine. Oh, I would like to get all these completed. So we just have some stored up energy. All right. We just need five more planks. And then we're on our way to the NPC town hall and there we go we got the town hall with a big old massive room here and then we got his house with this work priority list all right let's go get mike now the question being do we have to carry him back or will he do I don't know. I have never done this before in this game. In fact, I have not done a lot of this in this game. When I first played this game, it was right out of the gates. You spawned around that little swamp in that crater area. And you kind of just started building. So this is a whole new world for me. It's, it's taken a lot of restraint to not sing the song. All right, let's go and get Mike. If we have to walk back, we have to walk back. But we got to go up here. Um, I do believe I put some gas in the truck. Yes, we got three cans. So let's go get Mike. All right. Here we are. We are back where Mr. Mike is. And we have our spear, which I just realized you can sharpen the steel spear just like you can sharpen the steel axe and the steel pickaxe. Now we might be able to sneaky, sneaky in here. 
I honestly don't know what this involves. Uh, because I've never, like I said, I've never done this. So do we got to carry him? Do we just got to hit E, go back home? He's not in here. Um, he is somewhere in this village. Let's go ahead and eat that. Let's eat that right up. Mike, Mike, my man. How are you? Now, do we, do we walk you back home like this? Should I have brought the cart? In the bed of a truck. Oh. Like that. Yes. Like that. I legitimately did not think that was a thing. I was going to get all ragey face. I was going to get all rage face on this. But you can actually put him on the bed of the truck. <laughs> you can put him on the tailgate. Okay. You know what, game? I just... He just... Uh-huh. See back home. And wow. Okay, well, now can we not pick up the man? There we go. Right click. Now we bring him over to his bed. And then we feed him. And then we feed him the antidote. Or antibiotic. Can't remember which one it is now. I don't know how many anti words I used. It's an anti something. There you go, my sir. You feeling good? Man, that was a quick recovery. You you take a couple days, my dude. You can take a couple days. Trust me. Take take a week or so. Man, don't you don't have to get up immediately go to work. You just took the antibiotics and you're leaping all over the place now. My man. Hunger, zero out of 100. Okay, what well, was another thing we need to build for him, right? Don't we need to build? Well, we need this, but didn't he need like a, didn't he have it like a chest? NPC storage kit is the only storage container that allows for the NPC to both deposit and withdraw items that makes its primary location to store repair kits of food for the NPCs. Can only be built within town halls. Will hold any fruits and vegetables harvested by the NPCs. Here, Mike, eat some cucumbers and eggs. And then we can make... What was that we could make? We could make like a repair kit or something for him. One nail, one plank on the workbench. One nail, one plank on the workbench is a repair kit. And then he could take care of like our spike strip and stuff like that, right? Look at Mike. He's got his own little like platform village over here. How spoiled is he? <laughs> How you doing, my man? Are you your hunger or 32 of 100? Well, you know, we've got a greenhouse going. If you take care of that, you can get you get some seriously good food out of it. So can I. Like, there's this a lot of good food in here. <laughs> take care of it, my man. Does he harvest? You know what I wish I had right about now? Besides a funk soul brother right about now. Sorry. 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 Had to do it. Is a bearer. Drop Conan Exiles. 
Because you could just walk up to them and be like, sort. And they take everything out of inventory and they sort it in all the places you put stuff. Oh, one of the best things ever is roll up and be like, here's my full inventory, sort it. <laughs> all right, so we've got an ambient temperature that's a little bit higher than normal. Let's go ahead and... Take off our winter clothes. Plus we've got, you know, we've got a heater up here. We've got a heater down here. I like to turn this one off actually, cause I was getting too warm. I was getting too warm in the winter time. <laughs> All right. Let's go to sleep. And in the morning, we'll sign off the video. All right. Look at that truck sitting over there, all awesome. We need to build the garage. That'll be in the next episode. In this episode, we rescued Mike from his Vambi overlords. We, we cured him. We gave him a nice house. We gave him town hall. Now he just works for us. And our house is almost done. We're getting there. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment. And as always, I hope you have your beautiful... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was pumping that out faster than my mouth could pump it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>